one of the scenarios in Operation Northwoods was to take a regularly scheduled commercial airliner and take a similar type plane, paint the tail numbers up to resemble that of the commercial airliner, fly it by remote control out over the uh, Caribbean, and by remote control, uh, blow it up after sending a tape recorded message saying, help, we're being attacked by Cuban MiGs. Um, this was in 1962. I saw before the second attack was the silver underside of the plane before it went into the building. Uh, it wasn't in the commercial airline. Like commercial that second one wasn't no commercial No, the second one definitely. It didn't have any markings on it that I saw. No, no I didn't see any. The second one, I didn't, didn't have, you know, like no camouflage or anything. You know, no, no emblems, no logos. The second plane was, uh, uh, was an unmarked uh, silver fuselage. I'd say it was like a two-engine plane or something. But it didn't look like an airliner to me because it was black. This one did it on first something. Okay. Like a black plane. Yeah. We yeah. yeah. see it going yeah. around. He went. Yeah. Yeah. We just saw it. A black plane. Yeah. yeah. We see it going yeah. around. He went. Another plane. The plane wasn't no uh, airliner or anything. It was a twin engine, big gray plane. When you, when you saw the second one happen, what did it look and like? It was a small and much smaller plane, but it, uh, someone said it looked like a military plane, but I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I don't know much about airplanes. Mark, were you close enough to be able to see any markings on, on the airplane? Um, it definitely did not look like a commercial plane. I didn't see any windows on the sides. No, it was a black plane. It looked like a fighter jet. It, it looked like a fighter jet. And it didn't look like a commercial jet. It was like a military plane. It was a military plane. Could, could be a drone aircraft. That's an aircraft that's uh, uh, guided electronically uh, to its target without having a pilot. The plane circle around and actually come on to the opposite side of the building and smash into the Trade Center. It was gray, to be honest with you. We watched the first explosion yeah. as we watched in the building. We saw a black, very large airplane fly right into the second building. It came out of the south, right, right in front of our eyes. Just, it, it was so surreal, like a movie set. Second, second and third explosion. The only other thing that was found was the engine on Murray Street and uh, the engine on Murray Street is, has been identified as either a CFM-56, CFM stands uh, for Senecma, uh, and, uh, or uh, uh, the CF-6, which was a 7.6 engine, a 7.6.7 engine, which was developed out of the CFM-56. Uh, uh, but whichever one it was, the CF-6 or the uh, CFM-56, it had to be General Electric. And unfortunately, or fortunately, United Airlines used strictly Pratt & Whitney. So that engine that you see flying off, and that engine they say is from 175, isn't from 175, because the guy's whose job was to dump it off there, dumped off the wrong engine. 